In today's video, we will delve into the top 10 best practices for using Ansible, a powerful automation tool. Whether you are a seasoned Ansible user or just getting started, these practices will help you optimize your workflows and ensure smooth operation. So let's dive in. Number one, use version control. Version control is essential for maintaining a history of changes and collaborating with others. By using Git, you can keep your Ansible playbooks and associated files under version control. This enables you to track changes, revert to previous versions, and collaborate seamlessly with others. Initialize a Git repository, add your Ansible files, and commit them to start version controlling your playbooks. Number two, organize playbooks. Organizing your playbooks in a modular and structured manner improves readability and maintainability. Consider separating tasks into reusable roles and in include statements to compose your playbooks. This approach allows you to break down complex automation tasks into smaller manageable pieces and promotes code reuse. Number three, use variables. Leveraging variables in your playbooks makes them flexible and reusable. You can define variables at various levels such as group, host, or playbook to customize behavior based on specific requirements. By utilizing variables, you can easily adapt your automation to different environments and scenarios. Number four, implement handlers. Handlers are actions triggered by tasks when they notify them. Using handlers prevents unnecessary repetitive actions by executing them only when needed. Handlers are particularly useful for services that require restarts or configuration updates. Number five, secure sensitive data. It's crucial to store sensitive data securely, such as passwords or API keys. Ansible provides the Ansible Vault feature, allowing you to encrypt and protect sensitive data. This ensures that sensitive information remains confidential and prevents accidental exposure. Number six, test playbooks. Thoroughly testing your playbooks ensures their correctness and reliability. Ansible provides built-in testing tools such as Ansible Playbook Analyzer, Ansible Lint, which helps catch potential issues and adheres to best practices. Running Ansible List against your playbooks can help identify and resolve problems before deploying them. Number seven, document playbooks. Documenting your playbooks is essential for understanding and maintaining them over time. By including comments, variable descriptions, and usage instructions, you make your playbooks more understandable to others and your future self. Well-documented playbooks facilitate troubleshooting and collaboration. Monitor and log. Enabling logging and monitoring in your Ansible automation helps troubleshoot issues and track changes. By utilizing Ansible's logging capabilities and integrating with monitoring tools, you can gain insights into the health and performance of your automation processes. Consider configuring log rotation and using services like log rotate to manage log files. Number nine, use Ansible Galaxy. Leverage Ansible Galaxy, a vast repository of community contributed roles and playbooks to accelerate your automation development. Ansible Galaxy provides a collection of reusable roles that cover common functionalities, saving you time and effort. You can easily search for and install roles from Ansible Galaxy using the Ansible Galaxy command. Number 10, stay updated. Regularly updating your Ansible installation and playbooks is crucial for leveraging new features, bug fixes, and security patches. Staying up to date ensures optimal performance, reliability, and security for your Ansible automation. Consider periodically updating Ansible using Package Manager or PIP. That concludes our video on the top 10 best practices for using Ansible in your automation projects. By following these practices, you will enhance your workflows, maintain scalability, and ensure the reliability of your podcast Ansible automations. Join us next time for more exciting discussions on technology and automation. Thank you for tuning in. See you in the next video. Bye.